Hi, I'm Naeem Latif coming to you live at 5.55 with another word of insight from one of the Voices of Enlightenment featured on the On Air Network. Today, we bring you an interview with Kevin Moore, whose show, The Moore Show, highlights many who transcend this realm and bring us information from beyond our present earth time. Today, he interviews a gentleman who has access to the earth's Akashic records, that record of everything that has ever happened and that imprint that those events create. We get a special insight about the reason why the coronavirus has spread across the entire planet and why we are experiencing this as a global pandemic. We discover that the earth is going through a cleansing and is addressing many of the karmic energies that still exist as a result of past human interaction. We are in a time in which every soul is being assisted in addressing all of those karmic energies, all of those experiences in which we have left an imprint wherever we have been. And we have had an encounter with other souls and have created the energy that at this time needs to be addressed. We understand that this is not a punishment, but a clearing of negative energies. Throughout the world, humanity has interacted in a way that has been harmful. We have created wars. We have created enslavement. We have created suffering. This is energy that remains in the area where it was created until it is removed. We who are living in this time are ready to remember the reality that we have lived many lives in many places and interacted with many beings. And sometimes our lives have been those that have caused pain. Sometimes we have been the perpetrators of hurt. It's necessary for us to recognize this reality, even though many of our current religions, religious traditions don't acknowledge it. In order for us to understand what's happening, we must acknowledge the truth of eternal existence and what it really means. There are many who are incarnating in different places on the earth where they have previously engaged in behaviors that left hurtful energies in those areas. They are returning to clear that. They are experiencing what they need to experience, not as a punishment, but as a learning experience to realize the harm that they may have done and to live lives in such a way of service to remove the results or remove the impact of the harm that they created. All of us have been here for many different reasons and we have all learned lessons in the past. Some of those lessons have been to demonstrate what we don't want to do as a human species. We experience enslavement in order to understand we don't want to be enslaved. We want to enjoy our freedom. We experience war 
in order to understand we don't want to engage in war. We don't like killing or the pain and suffering that comes from being injured and dying and leaving behind loved ones. So we're choosing to work toward alleviating the pain and suffering that we may have even been responsible for causing in a previous life. We are here to perform the service that will alleviate the suffering because perhaps in previous lives, we were the perpetrators of the suffering. When we truly see that everything we're going through is for our best good, our highest development, then we don't live in fear and panic. We live in gratitude for the opportunity to serve. This is why this global pandemic has motivated the spirit of service in so many. Whereas before, the motivation for working was simply to gain a profit or a paycheck to pay a bill or to buy a possession that would raise our status. Well, now we are in a state where we value the service to our fellow beings. We strive to alleviate suffering. We desire to bring peace. This is the culmination of lifetimes in which we may not have understood the importance of helping others. We may not have understood the pain that we were causing by taking from others. We may have been anywhere in the world performing actions that caused harm. Mother Earth is cleansing herself of all of these centuries of energies of hate, violence, war, poverty, suffering, sickness, disease, famine, starvation, deprivation, neglect, all of these things that we have done to each other, we have left the energy of our actions on the earth. In these times, we are now understanding that even when you leave your physical body in the process we call death, the energy of your actions remain behind. The energy of your actions remain behind. Look at what we do when someone transitions and we go through a ceremony celebrating their life, recalling their deeds. And at the celebration of life, we try to remember the positives, all of the good that they touched us with in their actions because we want to remember the positive. But there are those who even if we don't say it at their celebration of life ceremony, their funeral, there are those who did do hurtful things. And people may not say it at that time, but they feel it. Everyone's actions create an energy every single action, every single thought, every single word creates an energy which remains even after your life force has left your physical body. The energy of your actions remain on the earth plane and are recorded in the Akashic Records, which is the record of every single thing that has ever occurred in the earth. The energy of every thought, every action. We see 
some of the imitations of the spiritual realm in our present day physicality. Things we say to the iCloud. Who really understands that about the iCloud and how it stores things? That's a reflection of the spirit realm in which every action is stored. And this is something that is told and reflected in scriptural teachings of our religions. That when you leave here, you look at the record of what you've done. It's stored there. In past times, it was referred to as the book of life. Now that we have video, it's described differently. There are those who have experienced either past life regressions in which they recalled that life review. They might even describe it as watching a, a movie or even a hologram, like in the Star Trek holodeck, where things come to life in a real life, three-dimensional kind of image that you experience. Our technology is continuously reflecting the spirit realm in which the real reality exists. We are an imitation. So when we can comprehend that everything that we do is stored in the energy of the earth and there is a permanent record, then we can understand that not only are we storing things in the spiritual record, the spiritual iCloud, the Akashic records, not only from this life, but all of our many, 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 many lives on earth, where we have been in different places, on different continents, from different family groups, performing different roles. We may have been everything from the beggar on the street that received poor treatment from others or the king in the castle that was cruel and neglectful of those who the king had under his authority. We may have been the queen that ordered someone beheaded <laughs> or we may have been the servant girl who may have been abused by those she worked for. We've been all things, all kinds of positions in life. The wealthy, the impoverished, the working class, the upper class, middle class, whatever kind of class you can conceive of. We have had many opportunities to perform in many ways, to understand many different points of view. And it's for our growth. Now, as we reach this stage of evolution, it's time for all of us to become aware of this reality. It's time for all of us to understand why we are experiencing this global pandemic, which is not a punishment, but a cleansing a releasing of the negative energy that we have all participated in creating throughout our many lives. This is a valuable interview that Kevin Moore is sharing with us today. Because for those who are living in fear and those who are believing that the end of the world has come, they're missing the point. This is certainly perhaps the end of a cycle for some of us and those who transition at this time. This is perhaps an end of their cycle or perhaps it's a choice that they made in order to reincarnate at another time 
after Earth's cleansing. Everybody's on a different life path. Everybody's path is going to take them ultimately to the goal for all of us, which is enlightenment. But everyone's path is correct for them. So we need not judge people or say that those who pass away from the virus are somehow deserving of punishment or did something wrong. Or those who survived the virus are more holy or more spiritual or more health conscious than those who didn't. The decision to leave is a decision made before one's birth. So whether you stay or go, it just is a matter of what your goal was in this particular incarnation. What did you come here to do? Did you complete that task or did you not? If you didn't, then you're going to stay here until you do. If you did, then it's time to leave. We have to see life for what it is. It's not a one-time shot and you guess the right religion and go to heaven or you don't guess the right religion and go to hell. That's not the reality. The reality is that we are living many life experiences and each life experience is designed to teach us something. And when we reincarnate, re-enter the flesh, re-experience physical existence, it's another opportunity to learn a lesson. And the lesson we're here to learn is how to love. It's a simple lesson, but we need to see things from different points of view. There are many who have been driven to live abroad, live in another country from the land of their birth. And perhaps they are unknowingly, not with the conscious mind, going back to a place where they created karma, where they created energies, maybe negative energies that they need to clear. Maybe they're going back to serve in a place where in a previous life they may have hurt. Maybe they have been the soldier that created orphans in a previous war and now they go back to become a teacher of the children of those whose lives they took. These are not things known on a conscious level, but the soul has recorded everything that has been experienced. There may be those who are born into wealth and during these times their mission was to give, to serve, to alleviate the suffering, to perhaps remove some karma from a previous life in which they may either have been among the suffering or been among the selfish who didn't share. And cause poverty. This is a time for all of us to address our karmic issues, even though they are not in our conscious mind. And Mother Earth is releasing all of the pain that humanity has caused in our interaction over centuries of time. Look at all the places where pain has been a part of life. The period of enslavement, the Inquisition, the Crusades, all of the religious-based wars throughout the Middle East, all of the pain and suffering and plagues throughout Europe, all of the conflicts in China, the repression, the cruelty throughout Asia. The coronavirus is not a punishment. It's an opportunity. And now that the global family of humanity is understanding the need to serve we're able 
to heal the hurt that we have individually and collectively caused each other throughout time. So this is a wonderful time to be alive. A wonderful time to experience the repair, the healing of Mother Earth caused by our inflicting pain on each other. When we see it for what it is, when we understand it for what it is, then we can make the choices consciously to be a part of this new spirit of service. This is what our global family needs. It's the best thing that could have happened. So rejoice that we are finally healing the hurt we are finally addressing the pain and suffering. We are finally learning how to demonstrate love. I'm Naima Latif. Thank you for joining us. And you can join us every day. We're live at 555 with a word of insight from one of the voices of enlightenment featured on the On Air Network. Listen to this wonderful interview from The Moore Show. Kevin Moore interviews one who has access to the Akashic Records and shares insight on why we are experiencing this global pandemic and the benefits that it prevent, presents and the possibilities it creates for all of us to grow. It's a wonderful realization. Join us today on the Female Solution Radio Show at www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash the dash female dash solution. Call in and comment 515-605-9325 and press 1 when you're ready to speak and we'll open your mic and add you to our daily think tank. Today, join us for Wisdom with Mama D as she addresses one of those issues that needs to be cleared. The energy of Mother Earth is still suffering from the energy of slavery. This pain caused over many continents must be addressed and healed. And we who are living in this time may have been on either side of that conflict. Some of us who have been living lives as African descended people, perhaps in previous lifetimes, may have been those from Europe who benefited and perpetrated the slave trade. Many of us today who are living inside the European descendant bodies, white people, may have been among those Africans who have perpetuated the enslavement for profit. Today, our role is one that allows us to address what we have done, the energy that we created on the earth that must be healed. Regardless of what role we played in the previous lifetime, now we are here to heal. But first, we must address the pain. Join us today on Wisdom with Mama D as we discuss the perpetual pain that still persists, that of the African slave trade. How do we heal? How do we serve? How do we help? How do we transform a people who are still living with the trauma? Join us at 12 noon to 2 p.m. Central Time, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific Time. But wherever you are in the world, address, adjust your time so that you can join us for a lively discussion 
we want you to recognize how you may still be carrying the energy of that painful period wherever you may be in the world you may have been a part of that global wrongdoing of an entire group of people as part of an international economic plan for profit. It's time to clear that energy. It's time to change the conditions. It's time to remove the racism that perpetuates that negative cycle. This is a time for healing. Call in and comment. 515-605-9325 and press 1 when you're ready to speak so that you can be a part of the healing process. And thank you, Dairy Books, for joining us. Thank you, Queen Jackson, for joining us. We appreciate all of you. And if you have been guided to join these morning messages, it's because this is your time to awaken and be the light for those still groping in the darkness. There is a reason why you are here. There is no accident. And this is a time for your awakening, your evolution, your transformation. Whatever path of light you may be following, this is an opportunity to see beyond tradition and truly get an understanding of the purpose of your existence. We're here. We're all here to help all of us who are here. That's why we're here. Take a look at what you may need to address in your own personal life. What has come to the surface? The people in your life are there for a reason. All of the souls that you are touching each day are touching your life for a reason, just as you are touching theirs. It's no accident that conditions have been created so that we may be confined to our homes and address our relationships with the people with whom we live. These are the people with whom we may have created karma in the past. And so now we need to concentrate on repairing those relationships. There are no accidents. This is an opportunity for healing. So appreciate the opportunity and learn to love, learn to forgive, learn to share, learn to enjoy. I'm Mary Moti. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you later on the Female Solution Radio Show with Wisdom with Mama D. Join us tomorrow. We'll be live at 555 with another word of insight from one of the voices of enlightenment featured on the On Air Network. We're on air everywhere, online all the time. Until tomorrow, continue to shine your light.